Well, good evening, everybody, and holy cow, my microphone's super high. Let's dial that down just a tiny bit. That should uh, be a little bit better. Well, let's hope I'm not just destroying stuff. Maybe I should do an equipment test real quick. Mm. Mm. Come on. What the hell? Uh, all right. And let's just kind of do it there. All right, so hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. A little bit different this time. Uh, today I'm gonna try to jump into beginning a project that I've been working on for well a couple years now. Um, the really the thing that's really stopped me from getting it started was I've been kind of learning blender and just trying to whoops nope scale x and just trying to i don't know just learn everything and i've come to the conclusion that it's too much to learn all at once especially well that's an obvious conclusion i know but the thing i'm trying to say is is uh there are some people that have the ability to sort of, I don't know how you say it, they, they remember everything. They can uh, go through and learn something in Blender, and then a week later they're going to remember that. And I think if I had a lot more time to dedicate to uh, Blender itself, then I wouldn't have to stop and Google things like this all the time. Am I going to select one object to go through the report right at the top? Uh, right here. Oh yeah, Control N. That's how you do it. So select object and go Control N. Oh no, that's what? Control N? Nope, that's definitely not right. To select your desired faces. Oh, maybe, maybe that's what's happening. Maybe I have to be in edit mode. Control N. Nope, that's still not doing. Is it control N flip direction? Oh, command has changed a little bit. All right, so let's get more specific. Uh, no. no, 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 no. It's still not helpful. Edit mode, then from the mesh. So, okay, so mesh menu. Where's my normals? Oh, it's Alt N. All right. So now I should be okay to do this. All right, so. I'm still struggling with the naming this project. It's uh, it's gonna be uh, I'm not sure if I want to turn it into a. I might do it a mini series, like um, maybe sort of like a 60 minutes or a 30 minutes each episode. Um, I haven't really fully decided on a format. It's gonna really depend on uh exactly exactly how I can get this all to really come together. So. Subdivide. All right, there we go. So now uh, go to face select. Boom, 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 boom. And just delete this for now. It's simple enough. I just need a direction to go. So um, the basis of this project, and I've been working on this for a long time. I've been sort of developing this idea in different forms or another for like 10 years um, or better. Um, and it's only been whoops it's only been pretty recently that I've gotten to a point all right so let's hide this now no I really don't want to hide that cuz it needs to be there for scale purposes no well see this is what I mean whoops come on whoops 
let's try something different. Um, no, I got to do it that way because I don't want it all to be one mesh. All right, so uh, the general premise behind this is it's going to be sort of uh, built off of my experiences. The main character is going to be sort of designed after myself. Um, anybody that I've played video games with in the last 10 or 15 years have probably, uh, or they're probably going to find some gamer tags as long as they're okay with it. Um, doo -doo -doo. Whoops, I need this. All right, so this. Oops. Um, let's do location Z. All right, so what I want to do is go zero, enter, get this one. And I kind of want to put it at just above where everything's going to spawn. And I say spawn. So, um, I gotta keep stay focused. It's hard for me to work. I was really thinking about, um, actually, I don't even need to subdivide it really. This is just a rough outline. So grab Y, grab X, and then grab X. Is that? Yeah, grab, whoops. Grab X. Grab X. Thank you. Nope, too far. And just somewhere in there. And then go here. And grab X. And this is just going to be a rough outline. Uh, scale Z. Of sort of like a bed or a bunk of some kind. Scale Z. Scale Z. Scale Z. Grab Z. And uh, so what I'm going to do is sort of to get the Pantheon uh, started and to get these projects uh moving forward this project in specific or in specific is going to take a uh, priority over everything i'm doing so far um I've, I've i've fallen behind quite a bit because i started a D, &D campaign and i knew that was a bad idea from the start just because i knew it, see that's too small so scale why um i don't know why it's doing this all right, so let's try going here. Nope, here. Set origin, geom origin to geometry there. Maybe that's what I did. Yep, all right, so. Um, all right, so yeah, the D&D &D campaign, I, I've missed playing so much. And I really, really wanted to play. So I started it, and I decided to DM, and now I have... Um, now I have some really awesome players, and I'm really not looking for, uh, how do you put it i'm really not trying to stop that just yet see that's a little bit more acceptable but not by much so scale grab x grab y boom the, uh, the, this room needs to be relatively small it's supposed to be cramped It's supposed to be sort of a military style, bar a single person barracks almost. Um, there's going to be just enough room for everything to fit in the room, but it's it's going to be really cramped. Anyway, so uh, anyway, what was I at? Um, so this project, the story idea that I've had for a while, it uh, sort of sort of like the gamer from a couple years back. If anyone remembers that, I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember who plays in it. A lot of people gave it a lot of flack, but altogether, I thought it was a pretty good movie. And uh, what it is, <clears throat> is the main character is based off my gamer personality. Not really not really so much maybe my actual personality, but I am kind of the same. Am I in edit mode? No, nope. all right, so. Um, it's more based off my gaming experiences than anything. And the reason I say that is because I don't want people to be like, oh my god, you're this, that, 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 that. But, um, the, the premise of it 
is that the main character is going to start in this room. Um, I, I have two ideas. The first one is going to be started in a much more action-packed sequence. Um, and I just... I, I, uh, it's So it's going to start off in um, a dark room just like this. This is going to be another sort of theme throughout this uh, project. Um, they're going to be shipping containers almost, but it's going to be pitch black. All right. So when the, the camera uh, gets done with the beginning credits and the title sequence, um, it's just going to fade to black. And there's going to be a little bit of sound effects going on. Um, maybe at first it's not going to have sound effects, but um, you, uh, it, the whole problem, or the whole thing is, it's just about to be black. And then after a few seconds, you're going to start hearing people breathe. You're going to be hearing the heartbeat, um, uh, maybe a heartbeat rhythm type of thing. Uh, and then sort of like, so if you imagine this being the shipping container, and it's all black, then all of a sudden on the screen you're going to see a red 30 seconds uh, timer. And it's going to start counting down. Um, I don't even know if it's going to be full. I might do 10 seconds. I think 10 seconds, uh, 30 seconds would be a, a little bit long. Um, everything I'm talking about now is still being developed for this. I've sort of been writing it out in my own way. And develop like developing it, adding to it, refining it. Um, and now I think I'm pretty confident that I know enough about Blender to sort of s rough draft this, if you will. Whoops, don't need that. And the reason that I want to start doing it now, this might actually evolve. Because what I really wanted was to... I think I gave my soldiers too much space. But uh, anyway, so th yeah, that's what I'm doing here, is just fleshing it out and talking about it. Uh, I really wanted to get more videos put out on YouTube. I kind of started slacking once I started uh, getting into the D&D &D aspect. Um, a lot of my actual developing time has been shifted to battle mapping uh, on Roll20 and character sheets because I don't pay for D&D &D Beyond. I can only have six character sheets. So I sort of build them in D&D Beyond, and then transfer them over for later use, which gets difficult in certain aspects. But whatever, I'm, I'm still having fun. My players are having fun. Um, actually, you know what I want to do? I want to start at the beginning. Don't save any of this. So what I'm going to do is start using Blender to develop this. Uh, we're going to scale it up like we did, scale it along X more than the Y. Um... We're going to take it in and we're going to subdivide it just enough where we can maybe get some double doors going right here. Um, so I can sort of delete these faces and put doors in if I want. Um, that's going to be later though. So let's go out of edit mode. We, I think it was, is it in edit mode? Mesh. Uh, normals. There it is. Was it Alt N? flip. Oh, whoops. So, um, the, uh, the beginning sequence, the very beginning scene, um, we're going to be, ha or there's going to be, like I said, it's going to be a shipping container. So what I'm going to start doing is start kind of making a list of specific things that I have to learn and the things that I really need to uh, keep track of in Blender while I'm doing everything and you sort of like uh, how do you put it so like for the grass uh, the grass tutorials that I did were really fun and I learned a lot but um, in the beginning scene it's not gonna be important there's not gonna be grass um, well, there, that's the problem there might be um, alright so let me get into this deeper so once the player or once the camera f starts seeing probably somewhere in here. So it's going to be sort of like, sort of imagine this with me. Uh, let's go out of edit mode or out of edit mode. So I'm thinking of maybe 
Oh, man, I really need a desk and stuff. It messes up my workflow when there's crap in my way. Um, so I'm thinking maybe these two are going to have the countdown timer. And I'm going to start also, these videos are also going to start being, uh, or how do you, not being, they're going to show you all these tutorials that I've been using and all the people that I've been showing and promoting and showing what I've used and from who. Um, it's all going to come together in this. So, for example, uh, a, a shipping container is not going to be too hard. All I got to do is go through and uh, make sure I know how to set up the um, the texture of it, which isn't difficult. I know how to do metal. Um, I know how to do rust in metal and paint. I could use the same system for paint. So I can reuse that same technique uh, for this whole project. Um, with the numbers, I think what I'll do is set up a separate project and import it in. So the numbers are going to count down. And let's go ahead and hide this for just one second. And then I'm going to, uh, whoops, go here, import, or I mean import. Ah, let's see. Uh, I can't remember. Maybe it's um, preferences. Maybe. Uh, maybe this is what I'm looking for. Whoops. That's add-ons right there. All right. So save. Did it work? Uh, okay. This didn't do the same thing as last time. Uh, there was a save. Um, oh well, let's see if it works. Uh, so, mesh. Mm. I can't remember how to do this. I'm going to have to learn, uh, redo it for the landscape because I honestly can't remember what that add-on was called. Um, so anyway, let's just, I'm going to, I'm not going to go too far off the rails. I'm not going to keep going too far, but so the, the title I'm kind of sort of leaning towards is going to be geared towards gaming. Um, I really thought, I really wanted to use, um, a title that I came up with called clan tag because that does actually tie into the main story quite a bit with what's happening with the main character who is going by the claim, uh, the gamer tag Apollo the whole time. So that like, again, it's based off of me. Um, in the beginning, it's going to be sort of, um, just like a, a what your typical first person shooter, uh, video game would be. It's not going to be first person, uh, the whole time. It's maybe use a couple of snippets of first person, but for the most part, it's going to be a, a regular. Uh, the camera, different camera angles, different things, different like that. But um, so I'm going to start putting these together scene by scene. And the very first scene, I, I, the more I think about it, the more I really want that to be the first scene is uh, have our shipping container and have the main characters sort of be introduced in a blinding flash of light as they run out onto the battlefield uh, in their various uh, battle armors, or the, their skins, if you will. Um, most of them are going to be similar depending on what team they're on, but for the most part, there's going to be some customizations. Like, again, this is going to be a heavily video game-influenced production, um, and it's, it's a really interesting storyline. I'm not going to give it all away, but I want to bring all of you on the journey of uh, start to finish. So this right here is just a box. Um, so what I'm going to do is after I'm done with this video... Oh, and that was the other thing I really wanted to get into, was that Blender is not the only thing that I've had to learn in the past year. Uh, well, I guess it's been about, yeah, about a year, maybe a year and a half now, almost two. So in the past, let's just round up to two years. Um, 
I have been learning a lot about video editing. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll show you guys. Let's go, boop. I, I don't know why Yahoo is on my default browse. This is pissing me off. Um, don't worry about it. Uh, let's see. What was I? Oh, yeah, so VSDC, this video editor right here, um, is what I've been using to edit everything. I've been using OBS Studio to record, and of course I've been using Blender to model, animate, and all that. So I, uh, I feel like I've learned enough where I can start this and it's not gonna suck as bad as if I would have tried a year ago. In the future, in the very near future, I plan on investing in a um, drawing tablet. I've been looking heavily into the Wacom. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, so, uh, I'm having a lot of problems uh, with character creation and character modeling uh, with mouse and keyboard. And I've been really, really working hard to try to find tutorials and different stuff to sort of boost it up and get me going. But I'm still, I, I find that certain things that I'm modeling are coming easier, like, um, so uh so for the beginning uh hold on i'm i'm so uh, i get too many things going at once so so for this i need to go here and darken the world um we need to set the camera somewhere in here i think let's go out of edit mode um let's try this so what we'll do this one, right? I did it. All right, so rotation. All right, so rotation zero. Rotation. That's eighty-six. Hold on. Let's see what that does. So that's the X up and down. All right, so let's try 90. Yeah, I like 90. Uh, oh, that would be fun. So what if what what if I sort of start zoomed way in on the numbers, like instead of being back like there, start it zoomed in like here. Yeah, sort of. there sort of like right here and then have the numbers start at like 10 9 8 7 and like red numbers and then as the camera zooms out like maybe at a lower angle like not 90 like sort of yeah, sort of, kind of, like this, and slowly zooms out, and as it zooms out, it slowly shifts its angle, so as it get, you know what I mean, so as it gets lower, and then sort of right in here, like sort of wherever head level would be, is where you would start seeing the silhouettes of the guy's heads against the red glow of the numbers counting down, and uh, after that, then... In the cracks of these doors is when you start seeing uh, sort of daylight at this point, sort of around the three, four, or five, four, three mark. And then that's this is when you're hearing the heartbeat. The you start hearing the breathing, um, just the guys standing there waiting. And then when the door, the timer hits zeros, you hear a, a um, an alarm or a buzzer of some kind, and the doors burst open. And the uh, the camera would stay behind or start moving forward really slowly as the guys or as the team, the characters that you're going to see very first, uh, begin to run out. Nah. But uh, so the guys are going to be running out um, in their burst of... Uh, speed energy battle um and then that's uh where you're gonna start seeing the the battlefield and this is where the can the camera's gonna follow them out 
but as they get out, it's going to start switch. It's going to switch to an overhead view, and you're going to see these containers. Uh, I did the math for this when I was designing this scene. Let me see if I still have the numbers up. Uh, there should be. Thirty-two. No, that's too many. Let's do the sixty-four calculation. Whoops, that I liked. Uh, so the original battlefield three, I think, is where I'm getting a lot of these from. Uh, if I remember right, it was uh, sixty-four versus sixty-four. So what I want to do is have four persons team. What? Sixty-four divided by oh wait that's percentage divided by four there we go so i'm gonna need 16 uh crates or uh shipping containers lined up uh for each team and each team uh i i stumble a lot so i apologize for that but when i start trying to explain things and move and talk at the same time and i try not to let my screen be idle too long because that gets boring but um, I need to look up uh, some tutorials while I work, and I really don't like doing that while I'm recording because then I sit here and listen. And um, If anybody's interested in stuff like that, I'll gladly put it in, but I just feel like me sitting here watching tutorials and then flipping back and forth and getting them to work, um, that makes for extremely long videos. Not that this one's going to be short, but so anyway... So that's the idea that I've got uh, for the main... Uh, it's going to be designed sort of based off Battlefield 3 and 4. Um, you're going to see a lot of influence from those games, uh, artistically speaking. Um, as I get deeper and deeper into each scene, I'm going to start doing videos on how I'm making the scenes, how I'm putting them together, how I'm editing. We're going to be doing some sound effects and where I'm getting those from. Um, I'm going to start really getting into putting this together as opposed to learning the separate parts in each individual videos that I've been doing that have, while they've been fun to make I think it's time to push forward with the Pantheon um, if I want to get uh, these productions done and start building this idea that I have for being able to bring artists together of every kind I mean I when I get this pro if I can do this project on my own and have an amazing production, then I feel way more confident inviting other people for the next step. Um, I want to get modelers. I want to get uh, just people that I, I can click with. I, I, I don't know how I want to do it yet, I, but I definitely want to build the pantheon on the idea that um, – everybody should be able to come together to make these. Hollywood is not the only one that can make movies and shows and games. We can do this on our own if we come together. So if I have to do this first project on my own to show you guys that, that's what I am going to do. So that being said, um, I'm going to start working on this a lot more. Uh, a lot these videos are going to start coming out a lot faster, a lot more. Every time I get a next, uh, another phase done, I'm going to do a walkthrough on the scene. Um, and then once everything is done, I'm going to put it all together and have a fully functioned animated adventure here for you guys. So with all that being said, um, once I learn how to do the legal aspects and file for copyrights, and once I learn how to do all that, I'll make it sort of more official. I don't want to give away too much of the story yet. Uh, I feel like video game and uh, adaptations can be successful, but too many people just have stupid stories. Um, I thought Doom was an awesome movie, despite all the criticisms. It just had shitty writing, I guess. I mean, it wasn't all of it. It was just certain parts that were kind of silly. Um, same with Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider was an awesome movie. Uh, the, I think... I can't remember if I've seen the new Tomb Raider or not. But uh, I love the games, and the movies got a lot of flack, but, but I like those too. Anyway, so I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to render it. I'm going to get it out, and I am going to start doing um, – getting this set up. And the next video, I should have the entire first scene ready to go by next week, I'm hoping, or the week after. Um, 
I'm not going to set goals and deadlines for any production in the Pantheon. Instead of having a date where I'm saying, hey, guys, this is going to be done by June 1st, it's never going to be done by June 1st. Everybody delays, everybody pushes back or has shitty content. So what I'm going to do is sort of offer a rough percentage, like a, a, a loading bar, if you will, a very gamish, very 90s, very retro. But um, it's going to once I figure out how to design that and get that published on Facebook, it's going to give you a percentage based idea of where I think the production's at. Uh, right now, I would say it's at about three percent complete. Um, simply or not three percent, not complete. Um, I would say it's probably one percent complete. No, no, three's a fair because most of the writing's done. All I have to do really is script the writing part because it's written more of as a rough novel and a group of notes to, uh, going with it. So once I get that into a you know a feasible script, then I can that's what I'm doing. So overall I think we're at three percent. The writing's complete. I have a general idea of how to do all of the animation, all of the textures and uh animation I guess is the modeling is the other portion. So animation and modeling. Um I've started dabbling in sound effects and how to add those and where to get those. And um I'm pretty well uh, editing isn't so bad. I'm getting really good at that. Or not really good I would say, but I I'm getting decent. Um, decent enough for what I want to do. Blender is not so hard to get going. It's just making everything work at the same time is a little tricky, and I have some plans for that that I'll show you guys. Um, so that's that. That's that. See, and once I get talking, my screen stays idle, and then it's boring. So, ah, uh, oh, my bad. Um, so that's that. I'm going to wrap up. Um, let's see. Uh, you can find me at Facebook, uh, the Pantheon of Apollo. I'm going to try to, uh, keep better tabs. That's where I'm going to start putting the uh, project completion bars and start interacting with people more. Like I said, I suck at running a Facebook group because I really don't know how, which direction to go with it. Um, but hopefully once this first production kicks off, it'll sort of take on a life of its own. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, you can do me on Twitter, but I'm kind of quiet on Twitter. I use it more. I, I, Twitter, I feel like, is a minefield. I feel like Twitch and Twitter are both minefields right now. So I kind of limit my exposure just a little bit. I try to interact with the people that I like and the people that I, you know, say funny things, whatever. Uh, you can find me on the PlayStation Network. Hit me up. Drop me a friend invite. Um... If you see me around, send me a, send me a game request. I'll, I'll play with you if I'm not busy. You can um, – where else? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram if you want. I haven't really got it that up and running at all. I sort of posted a whole bunch of pictures that uh, I don't want to talk about on YouTube because I don't know the laws and rules. So you can find me on Instagram if you want. Um, yeah, thanks. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for putting up with my idle screen while I talk. Um, I'm going to start getting the doors, the interiors. Um, I'm going to get this all going. I'm going to make it look, instead of flat, it's going to have its uh, storage container textures and bumps and stuff like that. Uh, by the next video, it should be ready to show you guys at least the beginning animations. Uh, I think that's about it. So thank you guys for putting up with me. Thank you for all the continued support. Um, oh, and that's another thing. If you guys need any commission work done on any, if you guys see any of the stuff that I'm doing and say, hey man, you want to edit this for me or do you want to take part in this project? You want to do that? I am 100% for it. Um, I would love to be uh, more involved with the certain communities out there doing productions, uh, creating content. Uh, and I would always love pointers. So if you guys have any pointers, go ahead and leave comments below. Hit that like button if you want to see more. And if you are interested at all in the Pantheon and the direction that this is going and how I want to do things and the dream of being able to produce content and movies and videos and games without the backing of Hollywood or the major corporate financers, hit that sub button right now because that's what this is all about. And the more sub buttons that get hit, the more and more I can do. So it really does help. Um, thank you guys for all the support. I can't say that enough. So thank you, and I hope like hell I can have something worth showing you guys as always thank you for coming and i will see you next time